Why are you crying right now? It's okay. It's just so hard. <laughs> okay, a serious time. <clears throat> I've been wanting to film a Q&A forever now. Stop holding your hands. I'm sorry. It's a habit I do. I'm just going to go like this. I've been wanting to film a Q&A for a while now. I'm really excited I'm finally able to do it. Thank you guys for all the questions. Uh, I got a lot. I'm not able to answer all of them today or it will be like an hour video or something crazy like that. So I will be filming more of these. Um, maybe, I'm not sure if it's gonna be every couple months or every couple weeks. We'll just kind of see how it goes. What music do you listen to at the gym? Uh, well, right now I have been uh, listening to Vengeance by G-Eazy. I have been listening to that on repeat. Um, I go to the gym and I seriously listen to that one like four or five times. I'm like, I should probably change my music. But if I'm not listening to that, then it's always the This Is Drake playlist um, on Spotify. Uh, when you first started out, what did you cut out eating? How often did you let yourself have food or drinks? What did you do to stay on track? Those are very good questions. Um, in the beginning, I made sure to not go cold turkey. Uh, when I first started, I just kind of started slowly cutting out things because I was a big fan of like Taco Bell and Bagel Bites and I love soda. I was a waitress at the time, so I drank a lot of soda. Um, so what I started doing is I just started taking out things slowly. So say, for example, like the first week, I just didn't drink any soda. Um, and then from then I had no fast food. I didn't have Taco Bell for like a year until like just last week we had it. So yeah, I would just say don't go cold turkey. I think that's the biggest thing that helped me was uh, taking things out slowly. Um, I forgot the other question. <laughs> it was like three of them. They were so good. Uh, how often did you let yourself have bad foods or, or drinks? Like I said in the beginning, I, um, I was just learning. So uh, for dinner and stuff, I was still making like enchiladas, spaghetti. I wasn't going so like crazy um, strict at first. And then I narrowed it down to really like one or two cheats a week. Okay, and then the last part of that was, what did you do to stay on track? Um, I honestly, I started out slowly with working out and with diet because I was always somebody that really couldn't stick to things. I tried working out in the past and it never worked. And I think because I went so like full force into it. Um, and I think the way that I was able to stick to this was, uh, yeah, just cutting everything out really slowly, uh, starting slow with workouts. I really only did like body circuit workouts in the beginning. Um, I didn't actually get a gym membership until about like four months into my journey. So I just started really slow. How long did it take you to lose the initial weight? Um, so in the beginning, I lost weight really fast. But I think uh, over the course of four months, I lost 40 pounds. Um, and then my total weight loss is 50 pounds. So um, the 40 pounds was in four months. And then um, the 10 pounds kind of gradually fell off within these last couple months that I've been doing this. Um, and I think that's just because I incorporated weight training. So I was actually gaining muscle and muscle weighs more than fat. So I, I'm like blabbering on. <laughs> Basically, I lost 40 pounds in four months and then the 10 pounds were slowly after that. What's your weekly gym split? Me and Cody, we do basically chest and triceps will be one day. Uh, we'll do shoulders and legs another day and then we'll do back and biceps for the other split. <laughs> and then I have been doing legs about like two to three times a week. So I'll basically do for the leg days, I'll do like glute and hamstrings uh, focused for one day, and then I'll do quads and calves focused for the next. Unless you take a week break and don't do legs at all. That's been happening a lot because I do, um, genetically, I actually have bigger legs and a bigger butt and all of that. So I don't work out legs as much as I should as lately. Um, I have been really skipping them. Um, a lot. I skip leg day. Oh, I skip leg day. From 0914R9, <laughs> do you have loose skin? Um, actually, I don't. Um, I don't know how that happened. I don't really have loose skin in my stomach. What I do have, though, is um, I do have scars on my thighs. So in my inner thighs and my outer thighs, I do have some scars from them expanding so much, but I really don't have loose skin. What portion sizes do you use for each of your meals, like in grams or cups? Also, how long or strenuous? are your workouts. Okay. <laughs> okay, so for my meals, um, I basically will do uh, four ounces of protein. So that could be like ground beef, ground turkey, chicken. Um, I don't really like fish, so I never really put fish into my diet. Um, and then my carbs are always like a half cup of carbs. So that's four ounces again. And then I will do like a cup of vegetables with every meal. And my workouts, um, if it's like a weight training, uh, workout, I usually am there for about like an hour to an hour and a half. If it's cardio, I really don't do anything more than 20 to 30 minutes. 
How tall are you and what was your start weight and what do you weigh now? Okay, so I am five foot four. Uh, when I first started uh, my weight loss journey, I was 171 pounds. Um, and now I'm anywhere from like 120 to 123. What's your opinion on the screw the scale biology? I, Wait, hold on. Emoji face. <laughs> See, I got so excited about this one because I 100% agree with screw the scale. Um, I said I'm about 120 to 123 in the last question because I really don't weigh myself. Um, I found when I was weighing myself, I was getting depressed. I would go to weigh myself and it would say I gained five pounds. And that was after I had drank in like four uh, bottles of water, uh, ate my lunch. And I remember actually calling Cody like on my lunch breaks, like, oh my God, I gained weight. Um, and it would upset me and it put me like in this unhealthy cycle and I didn't want to eat. I was just completely like forget all the progress that I had made. So I really don't weigh myself. I go off how my clothes fit and how I look in the mirror. Do you ever plan on competing arm emoji heart? <laughs> yes, I do. I am. I really want to do a show. Um, I don't really know anything about shows. I've obviously never done one, um, but I do want to sign up for one. I'm just trying to see if I want to do that by the end of this year or maybe next year. Um, I know you have to take a lot of time to actually do your prep. So if you guys have any suggestions for shows or anything like that, let me know because I'm really interested in doing one. Next question. Is it easier to focus on cardio than strength? I really need to slim down my arms, but what is the best workout for that? I would definitely say a combination of both. Uh, in my weight loss journey, I did do weight training and I did cardio, and I did make sure my diet was really clean when I was trying to like lose weight in certain areas. You can't pinpoint uh, where your weight loss is going to be though, so I would just say a combination of those and you will start seeing the results that you want. How many Oreos before you just say I'm just gonna eat the whole box in one sitting? <laughs> This is probably my favorite question so far. Um, I am actually not a huge fan of regular Oreos. I but love Oreos. <laughs> he loves them, but if it was like chocolate chip cookies, then I'm probably going to eat the whole bag. I probably will know that going in, and I'll probably eat all of them. <laughs> and then you'll just do make up, with it, make up for it with extra cardio. With yeah, it. there you go. Exactly. <laughs> uh, the next question. Do you have a cheat day? How often do you cheat? What is your diet and workout routine? I do have cheat days. I think everybody needs those to keep you guys sane. Um, recently, I haven't been very good. I've been cheating definitely more than once a week. Um, I know a lot of fitness people will say they only cheat once a week. That's great for them, but I usually cheat more than once a week. Um, and my diet and workout routine, uh, my diet right now, I have upped carbs a little bit. Um, so I am eating more carbs than normal. Um, like I said in the previous question, it's usually four ounces of protein, half cup of carbs, and one cup of veggies. I am upping up carbs, so I probably um, will be doing like a cup of carbs. And uh, in the morning and stuff, I have been having like a high carb breakfast. And my workout routine, um, I said that one in the previous question as well. Um, I've been training a lot of upper body lately, so I'll do like chest and triceps, uh, back and biceps, and then I'll do shoulders and legs. Uh, my leg days are split, so it'll be glute and hamstrings, and then quads and calves. I'm so sorry if I couldn't get to everybody's questions. I got a lot, so I'm really excited uh, with the turnout. I will be filming another Q&A very soon, so look out for the post on my Instagram so you guys can have your, all your questions answered. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe um, for more of my weight loss journey, meal ideas, and just my everyday life. Bye, guys.